the application process like we said first apply in mcc only for registration you will have to complete your registration pay the amount submit and select afmc there yeah i am interested in armed forces medical services afmc will shortlist let us say there are 20000 people who appeared applied here out of this afmc will call for around 2000 candidates depending upon boys girls ratio they might differ that might differ they will call for based on uh, uh, the to first 2000 candidates or so this year they have mentioned total 2000 candidates will be called for neat uh, roll number who are short of those who have shortlisted will be listed down you will have to keep checking afmc website and within this first 1600 boys and 400 girls who have applied for afmc if you are there you will be called for the screening that you can check in the website when will this come in after the mcc counseling starts they complete registration you will have to keep checking daily when it will come usually after round one of all india but don't wait keep checking after uh, during the round one itself request for change of date of interview will not be accepted please don't uh, uh, try to change your dates with AFMC. They are very particular. They are very strict with respect to the time when you appear, uh, exact uh, the way you appear. Everything matters in AFMC. So, uh, unless it is an exceptional circumstance, don't ask for a change in date. But if it is an exceptional circumstance, they might allow if it is a genuine reason. And during screening, this is during screening. What are the documents required? For those two days, what do you need to take to AFMC? Admit card, result card. These are all print out, so no problem. Mark sheet, 10th pass certificate. If 10th mark sheet and pass certificate are the same, that is fine. Plus 2 mark sheet, plus 2 pass certificate, transfer certificate or school leaving certificate. So, this TC you need to have. Migration certificate is required if available. So, in case you uh, don't have the migration certificate, they will be flexible. But they have asked if available, you can bring in these. Proof of date of birth. This can be your 10th, 12th or even your date of birth, birth certificate. Aadhaar copy. Uh, this is required for registration with Maharashtra University of Health Sciences. AFMC comes under MUHS. Nationality certificate or passport. This is slightly difficult for some candidates to get. You can just try to get a, a certificate from your revenue officer. GAP certificate is required. Uh, uh, you can make it in AFMC if it is uh, required. They also have a provision. But uh, you can also do a GAP certificate. If you want the format, you can let us know. This is for those candidates who after 12th, are not immediately joining AFMC, they went through two years of NEET or they have a gap after 12th, one year they did not do anything, then next year they are completing NEET. Immediate joiners after 12th, 12th I complete, I write my NEET, I am going to AFMC, this is not required. But if you have a gap, then it is required. Passing 12th as a regular candidate, AFMC has a specific criteria saying open candidates are not allowed. So, open uh, schooling candidates are not allowed. So, Passing as a regular candidate, this will be there in your uh, board itself. If the board says CBSE, that is sufficient. Character certificate from the institute, caste certificate, if available and if applicable. If you don't, but there is no reservation note. In case you belong to SC category and through SC reservation you are in, then you need this and caste validity certificate. Only then you would need this. Affidavit in case certificates are duplicate. You have lost your certificates, but certificates are in duplicate. AAU equivalent certificate. AAU equivalent certificate is in case you have done your schooling abroad you are an indian citizen but did your schooling abroad then to tell that that school high school or whatever uh, board and uh, the examinations are equivalent to india uh, indian uh, uh, schooling that you need aau certificate domicile certificate if available don't need to worry if it is not available ncc sports certificate if you are taking them you might get additional marks in the university in the interview so please take all these good certificates whatever you have achieved to the interview these are not mandatory if available only or applicable only serving certificate or ex-serviceman certificate primarily for getting additional marks during the interview document surrender certificate what is a document surrender certificate there are a lot of queries on this in case what will happen is all india round one will be over by the time afmc screening process starts all india round one will be over you have already joined, let us say. You will have provided all your certificates where? At the A round one institute. They will have all your originals. In that case, you can still attend AFMC without resigning there. You will come to AFMC and have a document surrender certificate from this institute. They will give you. All these originals are with us. Therefore, the candidate cannot present these certificates. Some of the certificates which are not in the list, you can still take, whatever you have not submitted. But rest of them, if you have submitted the originals, you can take these certificates. Once you get through AFMC, you can go resign this institute and join AFMC with originals only. Joining, admission, only with originals, but for screening, for the tests, 
you don't need to take originals. This certificate is sufficient. Certificate of extracurricular activity and level of representation, all these need to be taken. So these are the complete list of documents that are required for AUFMC. Uh, during admission also, you need to carry the list of documents. There is a better two-page format which is available that you can take as well, separately mentioning what is required for the institute and what is required for Maharashtra University of Health Sciences.